So next we'll start with the neoplasia. So under neoplasia, we'll be discussing the basics first. Then we'll see what are the features of malignancy. Then the hallmarks of malignancy, which is the fundamentals of malignancy. Then the etiology of cancers. Then paraneoplastic syndromes. Then diagnosis of tumors. And finally, we have a recap about various chromosome uh, numbers along with the genes. Okay. So starting with neoplasia. So what does neoplasia mean? So neo means new. Plasia means growth. So it literally means new growth. That is, there is going to be abnormally new growth which is not uh, uh, responding to a stimulus. So even after a stimulus has been removed, it is still continuously growing. So proper response to a stimulus is not there. It is just uh, growing by itself. So this new growth, that is the tumor mass, it is going to be composed of both the tumor cells Along with that, it is also going to be composed of some stromal cells. So, don't think the stromal cells are unimportant. It is actually the stromal cells, the environment uh, which is provided by the stromal cells which help in the growth of the tumors. Okay. So, tumor cells along with the stromal cells complete the uh, tumor mass. So, tumors are usually classified into benign tumors and malignant tumors. So, we all know that. Benign tumors are nothing but they have a very slow rate of growth and then they are uh, they don't spread also so since they are going uh, growing slowly they tend to form a uh, capsule around it okay either the capsule is formed uh, uh, by itself or like a true capsule or it is a pseudo capsule caused by the compression of the normal host tissue so either way it is going to have a capsulated structure and it is very slow growing so the examples of benign tumors will be just I am giving few examples like lipoma which is a benign tumor arising from the fatty adipocytes tissue. Then leomyoma. Leomyoma is a benign tumor arising from the smooth muscle. So coming to malignant tumors. Malignant tumors are going to grow rapidly and they are going to spread also. So uh, spread is one of the hallmarks of the malignancy. And as such, since they are going to be uh, invading and then growing and spreading to other tissue, they are going to be having an infiltrative kind of a border. So, rather than uh, being uh, well circumscribed like a benign tumor, they are going to have a ill circumscribed and a infiltrative kind of a border. So, the examples of malignancies are carcinoma. We call it carcinoma when it is of epithelial origin. So, any epithelial malignancy, we call it as carcinoma. So, examples will be squamous cell carcinoma adenocarcinomas then sarcomas sarcomas are mesenchymal malignancy so malignancy in many mesenchymal tissue is going to be called as sarcoma so examples here will be osteosarcoma which is happening in the bone then we have leomyosarcoma which is malignant smooth muscle tumor so generally if you see uh, we use the term oma for any benign tumors and then we use the term carcinoma or sarcoma for malignant tumors but there are ex ex exceptions to this so let's see the exceptions of malignant tumors so in this we have seminoma which is a testicular germ cell tumor and then we have teratoma again a uh, testicular uh, germ cell tumor then chordoma then we have chloroma chloroma is um, a myeloid neoplasm then we have melanoma arising from the malignant uh, melanocytes then lymphomas so I, all of these are ending with the term omas but still they are malignant tumors okay then there are certain tumors like uh, mixed tumors. So mixed in the sense they are going to have both epithelial and mesenchymal components. So the best example would be pleomorphic adenoma. So in pleomorphic adenoma, it is a salivary gland tumor usually. So in this, you are going to have uh, a very close admixture of both the epithelial and the mesenchymal components. And then we have teratoma also. So teratoma, it is a combination of uh, tumor arising from all the three germ cell layers. That is. It is from the epithelium, endo endo endoderms and also from the mesenchymal tissue. So, all of this is going to form the teratoma. So, these are these two are examples of mixed tumors. Then we will see about hamartoma and choristoma. So, uh, hamartoma is nothing but H4H. So, hamartoma is just haphazard arrangement, uh, arrangement of a tissue which is native to that organ only. Okay. So, disorganized arrangement of the tissue which is native to the organ. So, Previously, it was considered as non-neoplastic, but now it has been proven that it is having some clonal origin. So, some clonal pathogenesis has been found out. So, it has been considered as a benign neoplasm now. So, the best example of a hematoma will be a pulmonary hematoma. Okay. 
then chorostoma so chorostoma is nothing but ectopic rest of tissue so it is going to be present at ectopic means it is at some other site right so it is normal tissue only but it is present at the uh, site which is not native to it okay so these are ectopic rest of test but these are not neoplastic hematoma is neoplastic but chorostoma is not neoplastic so the best example of this will be presence of pancreatic tissue in gastric mucosa so in the stomach you can see pancreatic tissue so that is an example of chorostoma okay 